Is it community day again? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of It's Our Relative. Today we're going back to another community day. This time it's going to be C dot. So C dot is going to evolve in the shift tree that can learn bullet C if you evolve it during this community day period. So before that, we are going to go into the shop because there is actually an event ticket that you can buy. Alrighty then, we already bought our ticket. It's going to start in about one minute and we're going to see a lot of C dot. So um, by then, in about one minute, we're going to put down. Oh wait, hold on, it's already 11 o'clock. Okay, hold on, let's do this. Incense, here we go. Three hour incense. Uh, we should be seeing a lot of C dot right now, and our quest should begin right now. Okay, there's a lot of C dot stuff. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. So basically, every chapter is gonna be giving you a C dot. You know, every quest is gonna give you a C dot. Make five nice throw, catch 15 C dot, power up a Pokemon 10 times. You get the gist. First C dot is here. Not a shiny, that's okay. In the meantime, while this whole entire C dot community day is going on, there is actually a voting system where you can vote for the next community day Pokemon. There's actually a poll right now on Twitter for Squirtle, Weedle, Sancho, and Ghastly and for your next Pokemon Go community day selection. I know a lot of people is going to select Weedle a lot, so I'm not going to pick Weedle because, you know, it's going to win. But I'm going to, I'm going to try to vote for the second place one now. I want a Sancho because it has a low limb form. Ghastly and Squirtle, not so much. So let's choose Sentry then. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but whoa, Sentry has so little. Ghastly is 33%. Oh man, my vote doesn't count anymore. Alright, uh, that's okay. Let me know what you guys vote for, okay? Anyway, back to the game. Here we go. Uh, we're going to be looking for a lot of CDOT. We're going to complete this quest, I think, within one hour because there are only four chapters and it's quite simple to complete this quest. We are aiming for about Three to five shiny C dot. That's all we want because you know why? I'm running out of Pokemon storage and I don't want to buy more storage for unnecessary shinies because I just need one or two shinies for the Go League, um, Go Battle League. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Just sitting here catching C dots. Well, that didn't take very long for the first chapter. Here we go, our final C dot. We still don't have a shiny yet, by the way. Uh, that we are going to complete our first chapter. Yeah, catch 15 C dots. That's quite a lot, actually, but you know, still fast enough. We got it done in less than 10 minutes. Okay, cool. 15 C dot down. All right, huh? There's more C dots. It seems like C dots are spawning way more. 10 Pokeball, 10, 20 candies, and I assume it's a C dot. Yep, still a C dot. You don't have a shiny yet. But don't worry, we're gonna get it because this entire event is gonna last for six hours, 11 to five. So take your time, guys, take your time. I'm just doing this as fast as I can because I want to play this for only two hours at most, and then I wanna do other stuff because I can't stay around and play Pokemon Go all day. I got other things to do as well. Okay, hello. Let's do another shiny. Okay, first chapter. Stardust, Incense, and ta-da-da! I guess second chapter requires us to- Whoa, this is not bad. It needs to catch 15 C dot, transfer 10 Pokemon, evolve 3 C dot. So, yeah. Catch as many C dot as you can, evolve them, and yeah, second chapter is as simple as that as well. Final C dot to catch for chapter 2. Still don't have a shiny yet guys. I don't know why but I think my shiny luck for this event has been complete garbage. Okay, here we go. Chapter 2. 20 candies, uh, a C dot. Oh no, it's a Nuzleaf. Okay, cool. I'm guessing the next one, the next chapter is going to give us a shift tree, you know. And a C dot. Okay, 1000 EXP and here we go. Second chapter done. Incense, Stardust and Puffin. Nice. Okay, I'm not gonna read all that. Here we go. Make three great curveball throws, evolve a nuts leaf into a shift tree, transfer 10 Pokemon. Very straightforward again. Oh damn guys, here it is! Our first ever shiny C dot. Just when we are doing chapter 3. This guy looks nice. I really like the color. Looks great, okay? That looks beautiful. I actually really like the shiny. Bam! Shiny C dot finally in the bag. Hopefully it's a good idea. Man. Uh, it's okay. I guess I can use this in Great League. You know. <sighs> okay. To be honest, I'm quite glad that I already have a shiny C dot. Mm, so let's try to see if we can get maybe three to five for the next 
uh, hour and a half. It's only 25 minutes in. We're almost done with the whole entire chapter. And I'm only using incense, by the way. If you're at a place where there's a lot of spawns, you will finish this chapter even faster. I already went ahead to complete two of the quests already. Uh, I just need to evolve a Nuzz Leaf right now. So I have this Nuzz Leaf from just now, the one with a very good IV on 96%. Yeah, let's just evolve this guy all the way to a Shift Tree. I think after this, that's it. Because the last chapter is usually freebies, you know? If I'm not mistaken. And Bullet Seed is going to be really good in the Great League. Yeah, okay, it's quite good. Okay, hold on. Shiny. No. Okay, let's complete our chapter 3, 20 candy, 5 golden raspberry, uh, 1005 uh, EXP, and here we go. 2000, 1 incense, and a rocket radar. Okay, blah blah blah, not gonna read that. You guys can read it on your own time. 5000 stardust, 1.5k EXP, 5 silver pineapple berry, and our final quest to get, I think, shift 3. 2000 stardust, 3 red candy, and the last one should be shift 3. There we go. It would be cool if this shift tree is actually shiny a bow. I don't know. If you guys manage to get a shiny shift tree from the quest, do let me know. I'm very curious, you know. Here we go. Yes, we caught our shift tree from our chapter and that's all four chapters. Quite straightforward if you ask me. And this one knows bullet C and the IVs are terrible. Anyway, so we're done with the chapters right now. Uh, the only thing left and we, and we settle it in half an hour. 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes is all it takes to finish four chapters of that. And we did not get a shiny from that quest, but we did get a lot of EXP and like um, Stardust. For the remaining one and a half hours, since I'm only going to be playing for two hours, uh, then I'm going to edit this video and upload it for you guys to watch. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can get three or five shinies, like I said. We have already played one hour since the last clip and as you can see, we only found two extra shinies so that means we only have three shinies in total. Just like one minute ago, we managed to find a hundo guys, a hundo. This is a wow hundo, it's not from any quest or anything like that so cool, we managed to find a hundo. I was not expecting a hundo from a wow spawn but I will take it. Hundo guys. We have not actually evolved one of the shiny shift tree yet, so we're gonna do that right now. Uh, let's see, this guy is... Um, I think we should evolve this. Nah, yeah, we should evolve this because if we're gonna use it like for great battle league and stuff, this works best when attack is zero. Okay, shiny C dot to shiny nurse leaf. I forgot how a shiny nurse leaf looks like. I think it's gonna look great. Wow, that looks really good. Surprisingly, I really like the orange. It looks great. The orange and the brown. Oh, wow, that is actually very nice. Okay, here we go. Let's go, Nurse Leaf to Shift Tree. I think it's red, if I'm not mistaken, the shiny Shift Tree. Um, whoa, that's a very interesting color for a shiny. That is actually quite nice. Bullet Seed Foul Play. Yeah, I will take this. This is very nice shiny. I really love this shiny. And so far, I think the community day is going quite well, given that we only played for one and a half hours. We managed to find our fourth shiny, shiny Sea Dot. Okay, so guys, it's already 12.54, it's almost 1 o'clock, so that means we have been playing for 2 hours. So after I catch this, I'm going to edit this video and upload it as soon as I can. And then, yeah, I got other things to do as well. Hopefully it's a good IV one. But I'll still play like from time to time because I have until 5pm to play this. I might get a 5th or 6th shiny, I wouldn't know. Uh, but I will evolve a couple more. Ooh, wait, 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 hold on. Whoa! <laughs> Just that I was saying that. Back to back shiny, back to back shiny guys. <laughs> Just as I was saying that I was gonna stop, we have back to back shiny for C dot. So we have five shiny C dots right now. So that way for today's episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just the gist of how the community day is like and I hope you guys managed to find a lot of shinies for this shiny C dot. I try not to get too many shinies because like I said, I don't have enough Pokemon storage and yeah, I don't see the point of storing too many shinies. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next episode where we'll finish up the Snow Throwback Challenge. So if anything happens in between that, I will let you guys know. Take care guys, see ya.